All right, guys, let's get started. Welcome back on this lovely Friday. How's everybody doing good? All good, everybody? Good to see you, Michael. Good to see you, Grant. Chuck, everybody? Kathleen, Brian, Lita? Everybody else, uh, let's get ready for a uh, nice little excited Friday. First of all, we know what, what we expect on Fridays, right? It's not usually the greatest day. It's the weekend. But we got no we got no holidays coming up. So, you know, this is hump day. This is that time of the year. Remember, September, October, or November are personally the best months of the year to trade. And you, I listen, you guys have been here for a long time. And I told you back, if you were a student back in July or – in 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 august and and we had a couple of good days i'm like yeah wait till you see the list that we get around september october november and let me tell you i don't know if i've been wrong but you can go back and watch some of those videos on youtube and 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 your facebook or go on your dashboard on ctu and you'll see it it's just like it's endless so a lot of stuff going on right there and i also got a big list so what is the real big news this morning the real big news is this brick and mortars retail stocks are getting crushed crushed i mean like really bad okay so we'll talk a little bit about them you could see them all here in the big losers uh you got li bean you got uh gap you got what else you got you got uh levi's you got macy's They're all taking big hits so it could be a good short day but even though the market's kind of like us down 41 points right now all right, but there are a couple of good stocks. Remember, that is personally second protocol. But let before we do that and start going through the watch list and talking about what's moving, like the BNGO that we did great on that went from a buck to about 450, looks like she's moving again. Let's look at some other stocks uh, and talk about what happened yesterday. Because, you know, yesterday afternoon was actually a pretty good afternoon. I just had Josh. We always have our morning meeting. And... Uh, you know, about stocks, how everybody did and everything, and a couple of good things we talked about. First of all, the Crohn's was actually a really good stock. Uh, we, we did really well with that one in the morning hours. Let me just fix my time zone here again. All right. So you can see that stock really came right out of the gate in pre-market and just tanked from 1060. And even if you chased it right around here, around 10 o'clock, it still went from 920 down to around 860. And it came back a little bit. So Crohn's was actually a really, really fun stock was on the watch list yesterday. That one did really well. The TEVA was also awesome. That one uh, was probably the best one going into the afternoon. You see, the afternoon yesterday, we, there, was a lot of, there was a lot of nickels and dimes that we could have made, but this one was probably the best one out of them all. I think if you got it into any of the stocks yesterday, you did well. I mean, I didn't do too great on some on the one. I was in the wrong one because I was talking to a, a new student that joined us yesterday. And, um, you know, I always talk to all anyone to prove anyone that could be part of our team. Remember, we just don't – we don't let every Tom, Dick, and Harry come into the cyber group room. Uh, not that it's nothing personal. It's just some people remember, and I know other people are watching – you know, and going to be listening to this. And for all the haters out there, listen, I hate to say it, you, you just sometimes you're just not qualified to do this, okay? And that is always a good thing because I get you always get people that get desperate and they're like, you know, I want to trade and this and that. And some people just really don't qualify, you know? Listen, my son's going to college, okay? Worked really hard in high school, was a really smart kid. He got denied to go to certain schools, the ones he really wanted to go to. We all been there. We all done that. It just happens, you know, and then there's the desperate schools that, hey, what do you need to go there? Come to us. And it's not always the same. And we all know the difference between, you know, a Harvard and, you know, a community school. Nothing wrong with it. Still going to learn something better than nothing. And that's what you all should do. But, you know, maybe if you got your grades up, you know, that's why I always tell everybody, you know, listen, it's okay to, you know, come from another school and take another another school with somebody else. Because um, then to realize maybe, you know what, I do like this. I know what's involved. Now let me try to go. Let me see if I can get into that other school, uh, get my master's, right? Same thing when it comes to being part of Cyber University. Maybe you tried it. We didn't accept you. Maybe you go somewhere else. Maybe you come back later and maybe you be accepted. Because remember, you know. It, it, you don't want to be in a room with a thousand traders. I tell everybody that it's just chaos and you're not going to really learn anything uh, because it's a team effort. Remember, and you could see when we traded yesterday, there was a lot of stocks out there that we traded. And a lot of you guys knew exactly how it works. We called it out. I know Josh did really well. And, and I think several of you in the TiVo, the TVA did really well on that one. Nice little pop. You know, listen, you could see it went from like 740 all the way to 780. Think about that. If you bought a thousand shares of that stock, even if you got half that price, Made 50 cents, close to 50 cents, even was at 40 cents, right? 
four hundred dollars. I don't know who makes that in thirty minutes, right? And you do that every day. Nice little six figure salary. All right. So anyway, there's the uh, there's the there's the Kool Aid dread, uh, but uh, the best one. Let's talk about a couple other ones. ENDP. So ENDP is um, also had a really nice early morning run. Went from 410 all the way up to about 520. That that was also a pretty good one yesterday. Heap H E P A. A cheap little runner right there, right out of the gate. Also another nice one. You could see it that one would pop from like 380 all the way to 560. That was pretty awesome. Um, all right, so we, those all basically were, you know, hopefully everybody, we, that, that was something that was on our PowerPoint that we were talking about in class. Now, uh, what's moving this morning? You know, there is actually a pretty big list today, and this is Friday, and I don't like big lists because Fridays we know a lot of people want to take off. You could see everybody's already starting to, you know, walk in late. Maybe you're watching the Yankee-Houston game last night or Monday Night Football or I don't know about you, but I always tell everybody this. I don't know if you this being in New York. New York's busiest days going to restaurants is on Thursday nights, okay? Um, not, not Fridays. Uh, Fridays is date night, so – but Saturdays and Thursday, Thursday is actually the biggest night here. So a lot of people like to take out. They like to go out. Maybe they like to go to some clubs or whatever, down to dinner. So you get people who straggling a little bit late, and that's one of the reasons why you don't really see that much action. Remember, this is the financial capital of the world. So, you know, like I told you, we saw what happened when kids were off from school and everything. You got to work within that. And I, I'm not just making it up. I mean, don't say, oh, everything's going to you know, revolve around New York. I mean, I'm for listen, unfortunately – <laughs> what is what it is, okay? And and you know what? Don't believe me. Look what happened when we traded the last couple of days. So anyway, let's go through the watch list because there are a couple of stocks here that I do want to talk about. Um, there, unfortunately, is going to be some expensive ones, which you know I'm not a fan of, but I want to talk about them and bring them up. Let's start with the bingo, BNGO. So BNGO, we traded this stock. We all remember this one last week. Actually, this week. Stock went from a dollar all the way to four dollars. A huge winner for us. We made a lot of money on this stock. Um, I told you it was a great short the last couple of days. So, you know, it was a day trade. What happens? Some people start getting into this swing trade and they get all hurt. And I tell them, I'm like, guys, you're going to get yourself in trouble. If you don't know how to day trade, you got to be careful when it comes to this. So anyway, that stock right there um, looks like it's making a little bit of a move this morning. ATIS. By the way, please excuse me if I'm talking fast. I know we only got 15 minutes before the market opens up, so I want to get ready for the open. That's why. This one also up 64%. This stock's been moving up really, really nicely, the ATIS. You could see it from yesterday. It had a really good after-hour close. It popped the last couple of minutes, it gapping up pretty nicely again. Um, this one also, really nice, cheap little stock. Uh, it looks like it's testing its resistance levels. It's up around here, 280. I mean, that is a pretty substantial pop from um, where it started and where it's at. I mean, it backed off a lot. But iceberg orders everywhere. Look at the look at the level three. Look at the matrix right there. Just orders everywhere from every ECN. So that's kind of pretty easy to follow. CLIR. All right, another very inexpensive stock. It's up 28%, 300,000 shares. Got a little bit of a Fausto flag right there. That one doesn't look too bad also. NVTR. Another one we're going to keep an eye on this morning. This stock was a $10 stock. You can see it. It's been taking a very, very big hit. To me, it looks like a nice little level one stock. Spread looks big right now. So I would wait till uh, to wait till the open market open right now. It's got some supports. I'm seeing a lot of buyers right there, right around the 65. You can see them right here. And I see them on the map uh, on on the book map, but uh buck fifty five, not bad right there. All right. Expensive stocks. All right. Before we do that. Let's just talk about the ENDP. We got that one. I like that one a lot. Listen, Roku's been a great swing trade. Been a great swing trade. A lot of us own it. Um, I own it still at a buck seventeen. Wish I had more shares than I would like. But low expensive. It's doing great. Ben was, you know, we were talking about. Remember, Ben was talking about it in the class. That was big news. What happened with Apple with this one making a huge comeback, 180 down to 100 in less than a month. Stocks making a really, really, really comeback. Uh, expensive you got to be a level five trader but so far this has been a really really nice move mnk 
Another one put on the watch list that's gapping up pretty nice. A little nice for the level one stock. $22 stock. Still got plenty of room out there. Some of you remember we traded the stock in September. It ran from like a dollar to about $4. So you know the stock can move. Go back and check your journals and see how you traded on that because that's going to help you become a better trader. All right. Expensive. KSU. KSU is breaking higher highs. We all know about higher highs. We learned this in class. Um, some thought people thought Roku was a good when, when it broke 100, went to 120. Look, it went to 180. So this one, I would keep a very close eye on it also. If you're an advanced level five trader, it's breaking all-time highs. Got a little bit of Fausto flag. And then last not but least, but we were talking about all the – we were talking about all these um, – all these companies obviously came out earnings after hours, but brick and mortar is getting crushed, dude. Look at this. GIL down 34%. Still probably looks like a short, breaking all-time lows. LB, okay, another one. Taking a big hit, down 6%. You know, could be a nice little short right here. What else we got? Macy's. Macy's had such a nice little run. Not really doing too well, coming down, testing some major, major support levels. It, let me tell you, if this stock breaks that $14 price range, the stock is finished, okay? So, I mean, we don't know where the bottom is on that. Just follow the money, guys. And then Levi's, another one taking a little bit of a hit, coming back. Remember, everything trickles down to everything else. So even though these companies maybe did not come out with earnings, um, they're all looking at what everybody else is doing. Remember, it's all about the industry. Listen, we learned how to trade the industries when it came to pot stocks. We learned how to trade the industry of the financial crisis. Some of you have been through the crisis of the uh, uh, shipping stocks, the tanker stocks. You know, now we're looking maybe a little bit of a crisis right now on the brick and mortars. All right. I'm telling you, Amazon is really, really hurting people. You know what I mean? So um, I pretty much does it. We got now. Listen. This, the list is pretty big, but remember, there's always new ones that come out. So as we see something, we'll go out there and we'll, and we'll spit it out there. And just remember, everybody, I want to remind everybody in, in the cyber group room. Remember, this is not, you know, this is not the big Fausto show, the Josh show, the Rich show. The jo this show is all about us as a team, okay? Uh, that's what it's all about. So when we're all trading one stock, it's all about sharing our ideas. Hey, you see a resistance here, support level there. And, uh, and and also keep the bragging down. Remember, we only brag on points. We don't brag on dollar amounts. We don't want to discourage all the new traders. Uh, that's what it comes down to. My phone my phone is serious. I think I'm talking to her. All right, guys. Listen, good luck today. Happy trading. Let's make some money. And uh, I'll see you back at 2.30. One last thing before we go. I forgot to mention. Reminder, phase one. Remember, this is just a trading class you're in. Teaching is in a totally different class. Classes start on Monday, okay? So don't forget, it's not going to be on Tuesday. It's going to be on Monday, and then I will be on NASDAQ uh, broadcasting on their t on their show. I'll send everybody an email if you guys want to watch it. That will be on, uh, on Tuesday. All right, guys? Good luck, everyone. Happy trading, and we'll see you back for the afternoon meeting, and we'll start commentating about less than 10 minutes going into this open. Good luck, everyone.